we've seen lies tonight. We've seen madness. We've seen uh, goofy excuses from former presidents and their shitty sons about what could have, should have, would have, would have, could have, should have. If they had a done a, they could have, would have. And if you give them one more chance, they will, but they didn't and they couldn't have. Um, but we haven't really, um, you know, and, and around the, the lab leak theory, which, by the way, no one got in trouble for asking questions about the lab leak. Again, people got in trouble for asserting an intentional leak of a lab-created virus. That's where people got in trouble because it was there was a rise in attacks on Chinese people or, or Asian people in general because people can't tell the difference sometimes, especially racist people who wouldn't even bother to, I guess if you'd you can't tell them apart, doesn't make any difference anyways. Um, you're just a racist asshole regardless. So in, to push back against that and make sure that that didn't expand, they made a very distinct point of, uh, of you know, making sure that people, if they said, like, where did it come from? Because it possibly came from that Wuhan lab. And if it did, what can we do about something like that? None of those people had a problem. It's the Chinese are released and they're making killer viruses and we should nuke them. That kind of shit. That's what got you kicked off. So anyways, <clears throat> if I may, ladies and gentlemen, we need a little bit of like the conspiratorial aspect of it. Now, let's say that, you know, as... As Trump was working with China, getting his $15 million pay, payday from China, um, and pretending that China was doing its bestest, bestest the whole time, remember? Um, during that period, it, we could have found out um, that, that, it, that's, that that's where it came from with some level of confidence um, directly because Trump was talking to Xi every day. Again, WHO was not who he was taken. The, you know, his notes from, he was getting it directly from the horse's mouth or Winnie the Pooh's mouth. And in this particular instance, uh, I guess the suspicion is, is that it couldn't be that the Biden administration came in and literally said, everybody try and figure out what really happened. Because if you'll recall, hold on. Um, let's see. Um, Biden orders... Uh, origin of COVID. Let's see. The, the originally, see. Um, yeah, here you go. So, uh, Biden orders investigation into virus origin as lab leak theory debated. Um, hold on. Get out of here. U.S. President Joe Biden has ordered intelligence officials to redouble efforts to investigate the origins of COVID-19, including the theory that it came from a laboratory in China. He said the U.S. intelligence community has was split on whether it came from a lab accident or emerged from human contact with an infected animal. Um, that is still true, by the way. Mr. Biden asked the groups to report back to him in 90 days. China has rejected the laboratory theory. Smear campaigns and blame shifting are making a comeback. And the conspiracy theory of lab leak is resurfacing. Its embassy in US, U.S. said in a statement on Thursday, since it was first detected... Uh, in the Chinese city of Wuhan in 2019, more than 168 million cases have emerged, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, authorities linked early COVID cases to seafood market in Wuhan, leading scientists to theorize the virus first passed to humans from animals. But recent U.S. media reports have suggested growing evidence the virus could have, uh, instead of emerged from a laboratory in China, perhaps through an, uh, an accidental leak. In what passes for relative transparency in the U.S. government... The Biden administration has conceded the American intelligence community is split on COVID-19's origin. It could be the lab or animal to human contact, and no one is, clear, is near certain about it. That makes a big shift from the decision heaped on the lab theory by many in the media and politics last year when Donald Trump, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, Tom Cotton, and others floated this idea. Mr. Trump and Mr. Pompeo didn't help the situation, however, as they were coy about the grounds for their suspicion and their theories floating alongside some far-fetched ones, such as the disease was manufactured as a bioweapon in a Chinese lab. That possibility still seems highly unlikely. And again, for all the trolls out there and the maggots that are fans, if, if indeed... It was a manufactured bioweapon from a Chinese lab. Do you know what that means? That means that Donald Trump was president of the United States during the biggest bioweapon attack in the history of America. And his response was to sign a trade deal with the people who did it and sell them all of our beef, pork, corn, and soybeans while Americans were in food lines. There is no escaping that. That that was Donald Trump's response. 
So if you think that it was an intentional attack, you have to also admit that that was Donald Trump's response. Okay? Okay. Okay. You got me? Okay, good. Now, so, um, but the question that, that Glenn can't figure out is Biden is president. He's owned and controlled by the Chinese government, right? So how would it be that during the Biden presidency, this comes out as part of a story? If he's controlled by China, then obviously he would, he would, ha- he would ratchet all of this down and make sure it didn't come out. Hmm. Could it be that maybe it didn't come? Maybe it was a, it was from Ukraine and that's why they want us to think it was from. So Stu, did you hear the COVID-19 pandemic likely originated from a Chinese lab leak? This according to the U S department of lies, lies, department of lies, of energy. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Yeah, the yeah. Department of so, Energy. Um, mm-hmm. Now, you know that what you just said is a conspiracy theory, and you are no I know, longer we're broadcasting. Be We've yeah. already cut the feed. <sighs> we, we cut the cord to yeah. the— By the way, this, is, this has been the story all along, too. By the way, that, the, that asserting this before you had any information, or asserting, by the way, even now, technically speaking, if this was true, since they're asserting something as if it's highly confident when it comes as low confidence— from the Department of Energy, and that there's a split in the intelligence community about it, um, by reporting that half-assed, if it was true that everybody gets shut down for even talking about this, fuck, my, the title of my show would get me kicked off today if, if any of that bullshit was true. And secondarily, um, they wouldn't, I'm getting this clip of theirs from YouTube. To the satellites. Now, do I have to have the disclaimer on everything I post and say now that the U.S. Department of Energy has concluded that that's probably the most likely. Well, they were they were, they had some oil pump stuff they were working on, yeah. some solar panel stuff, <laughs> right? And then they're like, "Oh yeah, and the origin of COVID is yeah. this." Well, yes. that's, I mean, when I think of the best detectives, mm. I think of the Department of Energy. <laughs> yes. Don't you? Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, let's. That's a good idea. Mock the source where you're developing your see everybody knew it attitude from as being not credible and a terrible source yeah yeah Mm -hmm. yeah um all right so according to classified intelligence report recently supplied to the white house and key members of congress a leak from the chinese laboratory is likely the origin of the covid pandemic now this is coming as a complete shock to most americans The Wall Street Journal reported the Energy Department now joins the Federal Bureau of Investigation saying the virus likely spread via a mis... Wait, the who? Now joins the Federal Bureau of Investigation saying... The who? Wall Street Journal reported the Energy Department now joins the Federal Bureau of Investigation saying... The the Federal Bureau of Investigation? Um, The... You mean the FBI? The organization that you guys want dismantled? The group that, that needs to be burned to ashes and, and restarted over again because fuck them, they're monsters. So the, the FBI was already, uh, had, uh, had already made this assessment from their investigative standpoint, but they obviously with whatever level of confidence they've said. It, but now that the Department of Energy is saying it, which is, by the way, another organization these assholes want to dismantle. The virus likely spread via a mishap at the Chinese laboratory. Wow. So we got it from the FBI. Did you know about the FBI and what they were saying? I've heard the FBI was. He's bullshit. uh, Believed that it may be. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. He's lying. He's just making that up because that's what that's the answer Glenn wants. Look at his face. Glenn Glenn's like, back me up on this by saying yes. Okay, Mm -hmm. so uh, the the Wall Street Journal says uh, the conclusion is a result of new intelligence. Now, remember that, because I think I know what the new intelligence is. Mm. Very exciting. New intelligence, and it is significant because the agent has considered, uh, has considerable scientific expertise and a network of U.S. national laboratories, some of which conduct advanced biological research. Now, when I think of energy, 
I don't necessarily think of biological research. That is because you are a fucking moron. And here's why. Let's just say I have a bunch of pathogens that cause uh, wheat blight and bird flu and all kinds of stuff. And we spend a good part of our day trying to make sure that shit, A, stays under lock and key, and B, we're able to develop um, and continue our research so that we can fight it or stop it one day. And the power goes out, and the door latches fail, and every electronic key card thing in here suddenly falls apart, and we're in Jurassic Park land, and some Wayne Knight motherfucker with a with a, a shaving can full of the world's worst, path- worst pathogens decides to fucking 12 monkey himself onto a goddamn plane and kill everyone because the energy system, the electrical system and the security of that system and its backups are not up to the capacity they need to protect that from happening. So you might want to consult the people at the Department of Energy so that that doesn't happen. The Department of Energy works with the DOD and works with the NIH and all kinds of uh, organizations, the FAA, to make sure there are fail safes for airplane light, you know, uh, like landing light systems and all kinds of stuff to go, okay, this is your best bet battery backup wise. What's your fail safe for, uh, for any of the electrical systems you might need here? And especially in foreign countries, NASA, another great example. The reason that this seems weird to Glenn is because he's stupid. Because he's a stupid, stupid man. He's very dumb and stupid. And uh, the worst part is he might know this and just be playing dumb for the sake of his audience, which is even dumber than just being dumb. Okay, I mean, this is not the point of the story. Like, this is not what we should be taking from it. But it is important to note that perhaps our agencies are have grown to a bit of a of a of a extraordinary size when the, the department, department of energy, energy has an opinion on where the origin of covid came from well, well because there are electric locks and electric fail safes in the lab itself that it works with with bio labs all across the world and know that there are they know the the level of quality and the weaknesses in the Chinese system because they interact with it where we do have embassies and whatnot and and uh, god damn it. So his problem is not that this organization uh, is able to infer from the reality it deals with on a regular basis. It is it is allowed to inf- infer that. They could kind of track a problem based on the electronic failures that they might see, which is more than likely what we're talking about. And that's a good thing that they're smart enough to do that. The other, I think the bigger story here is that these motherfuckers who want to get rid of the FBI all the time are not giving credit where credit is due because apparently, believe me, it's a much bigger fucking story for these guys that the FBI, um, believes it or or at least leans towards a low confidence most likely scenario it's Why? because they have considerable scientific expertise i'm and sure they, they o- do they oversee a network of u.s nab- national laboratories but why why would the because, department of energy because uh none of the bio labs uh out there are coal firing and run on or run on um firewood It's so, it's, it's painful. Like the dumb, it hurts. It hurts. The dumb, it hurts. G oversee okay. because they're the ones that have all the labs that are doing all of the very, very high tech. The um, uh, we talked about it just recently. The fusion or fission, mm-hmm. which is it? Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't understand either. Does it matter? Plant that came from the national labs. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fusion, by the way. That's overseen by... We've had fission for a long time. By the, uh, the like, ne- energy... By the way, fission, fusion. Fission, easy part, fusion, hard part. Gee. If you're, so if you're good at 
nuclear fusion because nuclear you are then also good at no because biological origins nuclear I is directly tied to Okay, this is just dumb. not only the Department of Energy, but also to <laughs> blowing things up. Right. So if you're blowing things up, you might as well have a few scientists in there. I was like, before we blow things up, uh, what do you say? Maybe we, um, I don't know, maybe we uh, <laughs> kill them with a deadly virus. Is Yeah, so uh, just just in case you're wondering what the fuck that was about, besides a shit joke, uh, Glenn Beck and uh, his uh, sonic sidecar, Stu there, think that the Department of Energy is full of, I suppose, Russians. I, I think he was trying to go with a Nazi German voice and just fucked it up. Usually he will go with the, the German side of things. Um, and that because we brought over Werner von Braun or Operation Paperclip and the rocket program of NASA um, post-World War II, because the, the because the Nazis made a lot of these guys work for them with a gun to their head, um, and we thought, maybe, you know, if they, we have them over here, they make, be, make some rockets that go someplace instead of just go someplace and blow it up. And uh, over that, I guess, during this process, he thinks that we just incorporated a bunch of, like, Herman Goebbels or Gorings or... Or, uh, you know, that ilk in there to just, like, we just have a few foreign murderers working in every department. So, are we in France? Why, why is, why is They're the always of cooking something up in France. <laughs> oh, okay. okay? Uh -huh. All right. So, uh, the Department of Energy now, you ready? Has made the determination, quote, with low confidence. Okay. What the hell? What? That's not a determination. That's not a determination. That's like, I don't know. Could be. You don't come out and say. Um, well, also, the problem he's having is he took off the most likely as opposed to likely because you don't bother with low, uh, with likely with low confidence. Most likely, but with low confidence. We can't. The, the information we have isn't going to ring anybody's bell. So. The, oh, thanks. Uh, and there's no Facebook? There isn't? Say crackers in there or something? Okay. Oh, maybe did I get kicked off there? Did I get? It might be. I might have gotten kicked off of, uh, no, it says I'm on Facebook. I'm on Facebook, aren't I? Allegedly. Hmm. I don't understand. Mr. Bond. Yep, it says I'm in there. Although, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I got bounced off because of the, the, the title on there. Huh. Anyways. The Department of Energy is joining the, um, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, saying that it is likely spread via a mishap. Okay, wait. And this conclusion is a result of new intelligence and is significant. By the way, very low confidence. Very <laughs> low. Very, very low. It's very strange. What? The it's a strange story from... Because that's how the reports are read. If this is true... It is significant. However, the source of the intel, however explosive, is only verifiable up to a certain point and therefore only reaches low confidence. That, this is not a news report. People are reading a classified document to reporters or other people, um, probably more than likely Republican members of the House who are, you know, reading this secretly or, or telling whoever their source was. So the that's how these things are like, okay, we found a significant piece of information that if true points that this is most likely how it happened. The source by which we got it is three or five, you know, people deep. So it, it's a, we're in a game of telephone and we're six, seven people away from the original source. So technically speaking, it gets categorized as low confidence. However, we believe because of other stuff that we paired it with that it's most likely the reality. However, the source of that belief is, is sources that in a material form falls into multiple categories. And the category it fits in specifically is low confidence. Beginning to end. Is it? Why do you announce... 
a determination mm. if you have low confidence now in that. Th because of the reasons I just said. That is a good yeah. question. I mean no, it isn't. Because they didn't announce it. It's from a classified st uh, briefing that was not an announcement. It was a this is this is new information that we have, and this is where it puts us. But it doesn't change the minds of any of the other intel communities. So there hasn't been an announcement, and this is why we are dealing with dumb, dumb, with tweedle dumb and tweedle dumber. I mean, I feel like if you have low confidence yeah. in a determination, you do not have a yeah, determination, right? Well, you have new evidence mm -hmm. that's significant, but it's so significant. It leads you to <laughs> low confidence. It's our government. Okay. In a nutshell, right All there. All right. Okay. So why? By the way, it's our government in a nutshell. This is kind of, this is so fucking perfect. These like small government. We want a government so small that Vladimir Putin can tr drown the U.S. government in a fucking bathtub or any dictator can topple our government in a matter of days. We need a really streamlined government. Fuck. We, we need to put the entire government on a laptop so somebody can run off with it. Um. But for the record, both of these assholes are relying on a secondhand report of this classified briefing, which never reached the level to change the, the opinion of the overall intel community and therefore create a situation where they had a briefing and said it to the public and to the world. This is what we now think, thanks to this stuff. It's a classified note from the Department of Energy being read to, being given to certain members of Congress and those members of Congress telling it to the press because they think it furthers their political cause. And these guys hearing a secondhand sniped little version of it, m minus all the other details, picture giant redacted document, and they're picking sentences out of it and going, um, see, we were right all the time. I was always right. That's what Don Jr. is doing. That's what they're doing. We knew it all along. At the same time, they are quoting something that they can't believe even rose to the level of being brought up in a meeting. Why would they announce that this weekend? Well, I That's mean, first weird, of all, huh? they didn't. Huh? It's mm -hmm. likely true, right? I mean, we don't oh, know yeah, yeah, for yeah. certain. But no, if this was a... But so you're both saying you have low confidence. I don't have low confidence. Right. I have, I would say very high. high <laughs> yeah, right? very high. Yeah, but that's based on ego and your own paranoid delusion. Confidence. I mean, yeah. If this was a murder story with all this, the, the evidence that we have on right. this, we would all, the, the jury would come back 12 0 and say guilty. Yeah. Guilty. Right. Yeah. And I mean, it, by the way, it, it kind of. Mm, no, as a matter of fact, they wouldn't. They would not. More than likely, a jury worth its salt. Even if it were true, judging on what we know right now would come back um, with not guilty because of reasonable doubt. Because there's so much, because some, because the, presumably, if we're talking about a, we're going to carry this court analogy to its uh, in absurdum, ad absurdum uh, conclusion, the defense for the Chinese point of view would be, this didn't come from the lab, there's a wet market right over here, and it, like the same dude who brought bats from up and gave them to the lab also brought them up and sold them at the wet market. He's not supposed to, but he did. And so, you know, it could have bitten one somebody or it could have been, you know, transferred there. There's no, there's no trail. There's no human being you can track from here to here. And circumstantially, the wet market is as reasonable a, a place as possible. It's just silly of is a murder story <laughs> it's, well, it's more it's of a mass more genocide of a, yeah genocidal um, yeah. well no a genocide is specific this was abstract that's one of the reasons why it doesn't really play out as a specific genocide well you know it, let's be kind serial killer right okay you know yes okay. Uh, in some ways you're right um but you know again a serial killer without a type. By the and way. when you come to the scientific end of it, I mean, mm -hmm. I certainly have spent, you're going to be surprised to hear less time in the lab uh, than you might think. <laughs> well, I'm determining a, the origins of, of uh, I'm deadly a doctor, viruses. Man. I'm you're a doctor. A doctor. I can, I can you, talk science. You're different. Oh, yeah. Do you have low confidence, moderate confidence, high confidence? Uh, very high confidence. Okay. Now, good. you still could talk me out of it. It's you still possible. could. Like, it's possible. If they found, right. I don't know, the, the. Right. So these would be the jurors, again, in their own analogy. And they've already made up their mind. So they would be bounced from the jury because they can't be objective. This is just a the thing that they idea. always find, which is the animal that has a trace of this Correct. in the normal anywhere. population anywhere in the world. <laughs> like, for example, <laughs> right. that might that go a long might way. That might be good, yeah.
Yeah, they have. We it found might. the monkeys. The monkeys, you know, vomit blood, bleed from their eyes, right. but they found them. Again, what I say, 28 days later. This is this is his attachment. This is how they make decisions. Right. They found them. Like the they, 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 they watch movies that are crafted around a certain level of paranoia and accept that as how things work in general and draw all of that. This is the problem with, and considering how much I love the 80s, and there's tape to prove it, um, the idea that you're using plot points from worst case scenario um, action comedies and, and horror films uh, points to the fact that reality has no bearing on any of the conversations you're having and that the complexity befuddles you. That, uh, no. Now, they've only uh, been trying to find it the entire time and right. have not found it, which is right. very, it's not impossible <laughs> that this would be the case, but it is very unlikely by at this point they would not find the natural spillover uh, candidate. No, they wouldn't, because China's opaqueness would be the very same reason why it, they believe it didn't come, you know, it, they would hide the fact that it came from a lab the same way they would hide the fact that it came from the wet market. The Chinese were for a while blaming American white-tailed deer. They were also, uh, China also told the world that uh, the U.S. Army started it. Yep. Um, let's see. They, uh, yeah, very sweet. Um, by the way, uh, Trump still trusts them to make a deal and they're going to respect us again. Um, hold on. Uh, what, let's see. How about this? White tail deer. Yeah, here you go. Um, here's here. These are these are Chinese news sources. Uh, comment, comment. White tailed deer. Where do you? Uh, where were you infected with COVID nineteen? Would you please tell us all where you were infected with COVID nineteen? Commentary. Here's another one. This is. Uh, um, uh, yeah. C, uh, CTV News. White tailed deer harboring COVID nineteen variants. Uh, though. Uh, thought to be nearly extinct in humans. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. China News. How did the white-tailed deer... Yeah, it's comic comment. The, they put these pictures up on their Facebook page. Um, let's see. The That's the deer to human later. Uh, U.S. vicious slanders. Um, this is the Embassy of the People's Republic of China in the United States. U.S. vicious slanders on China over COVID-19 origins, tracing and the truth. Um, on U.S. claim that clusters of COVID-19 first appeared in Wuhan. Um, facts. A growing number of clues, reports, and studies have indicated that COVID-19 cases emerged in many places around the world as early as the second half of 2019. Outbreak in the United States occurred earlier than the officially confirmed case. A study by Italian research institutes have revealed the virus may be circulated in Italy as early as late summer of 2019. Uh, U.S. National Joint Study. University of California has showed number of patients with respiratory symptoms and diseases late December 2019, February 2020 has increased significantly. Yeah, because of people traveling a lot um, to China and back. Uh, 171 showed symptoms of COVID-19 as early as January of 2020, and none of them reported any travel experience to China two months before the COVID. Yeah, symptoms. So people with respiratory problems didn't test positive, but whatever. And by the way, uh, no evidence that they ever did. But they, they this is like a huge list. I want to find the thing where they're like white-tailed deer. Uh, Chinese Academy has published a study on dating the origins. Uh, the researchers set up an optimized model using the epidemic transmission model and big data analysis met uh, method and inter inferred the dates of the first infection cases in 12 northeastern U.S. states and in China's Wuhan city and uh, Zhejiang province based on published data. The result indicated that 12 U.S. states, the possible dates of the first infection were the probability of 50% fall mostly between August and October 2019, while the earliest is April 26, 2019 on Rhode Island and the latest is November 2019 in Delaware. All of the dates indicated were earlier than the January 20, 2020, 2020, the officially announced date of the first confirmed case in the United States. Um, National Cancer Institute, News Outlook Local Italy, blah, blah, blah. 
Uh, U.S. false claims of virus leak from Wuhan Institute of Virology and the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Vicious slander number two. The COVID-19 outbreak may be directly linked to the Wuhan Institute of Virology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Facts of truth. The COVID-19 outbreak was nothing, has nothing to do with the Wuhan Institute of uh, Virology. That's what they say. Just facts and the truth. Uh, Wang uh, Yanyi, director of the WIB, told CGTN, uh, told state television run by the CCP, in May of 2020, uh, that uh, that year, in interviews, that speculation of the virus leak from the uh, WIV is pure fabrication, and that the Wuhan uh, Institute of Virology had never encountered, researched, or kept the virus, which is factually not true on so many fronts. It's just goofy. Um, there's the videos and links, and the, the, they issued a statement saying the institute had not been exposed to COVID-19 before December 30th of 2019. Um, there's Peter Dazak. There he is, Peter Balzak. This is the guy that uh, they link to uh, Fauci all the time because of Eco Health or what Alliance that they think is the reason why all this shit is happening. Yeah, Peter Dazak, a virologist and president of the U.S. based Eco Health Alliance, who has worked with the Wuhan Institute of Virology for 15 years, said in an interview with the with CNN that uh, WIV did not have the virus that caused COVID-19 outbreak, so it is impossible the virus originated from that laboratory. Um, just for the record, uh, Peter Daszak is uh, full of shit. Just, I mean, it's materially false now, like everybody knows. However, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. if they were to find that, you might say, okay, well, let's look at that right. evidence and see if it's legitimate. But there's so much circumstantial evidence piled up on right. the side of the lab leak at this point. Right. Yes, but there's also equally uh, circumstantial evidence that it came from the wet market or that it came from people who got animals for the wet market or for the lab or both. That you'd think. Yeah. So that it came from the city in the area of people who worked for one or either. It'd be obvious to or both or pretty much everybody that it should yes. be a central consideration. Mm. And that is, that was basically the reasoning we had in April, 2020 for bringing this up, <laughs> right? Right. The fact that now the Department of Energy is getting to the point in, mm. what are we, February 2023? Yeah. Three years late. They're like, ah, you know, we kind of agree with that, with Glenn Beck circa 2020. Right. Yeah, we're sorry weird. for banning everybody, right. but we want you to know. By the way, n nobody got banned for insist for questioning this or asking. Everybody got banned for insisting that it was intentional. Well, the ban still goes for everybody but us because we have very low confidence. Right. And New I significant <laughs> information, very low confidence. And I would say that was probably our mm -hmm. position in April 2020. Yes. It looks kind of like it came from here. I would say it's <laughs> likely, but we have low confidence. We yeah. don't know and enough detail. And we have detail. low confidence without... Which is also bullshit, for the record. If you guys will recall, when I first started this show, we were seeing shows like this. I was mostly focusing on, like, Trump's briefings and that kind of shit. But none of them were acting like they had low confidence. They were all screaming to the high heavens that it, w it came from there and it was intentional. Out any and, and they, by the way, Beck and Stu, but basically all of right-wing media. significant <laughs> information. <laughs> right. hey. And then you get the information right. over if it's multiple significant. years. Yeah. And you mm. think to yourself... Maybe we have high confidence. <laughs> right. Moderate confidence. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. Hold on one second. And I, I know, I know, I'm dragging the show out uh, as you do. And, uh, okay, hold on. Um, back, COVID, I'm trying to find in here. Maybe in here. Da, da, da. Okay. Um, it's two years ago. I walked into the research room uh, where everybody is at home now doing the research. And I looked at a chalkboard that I haven't seen in five months. And about a year, year and a half ago, um, how long have we been in this studio? Because we've been in here for at least a year with that set over there. Because we were in, it, we were in uh, the other. Oh, yeah. This is before he broomed this fucker. Gave him his own show, but kept him off the show because he, he kept, like, barking and interrupting. They're set on stage three. 
Whatever. And I, I don't know if, I think I probably told Pat, it came to me in a moment of, you know, they fleshed it out and I put it up on the board and I said, these are the things to watch for. And I put them all down and fleshed them out on the board. So it was like eight different topics, 10 different topics. And I'm sure he's going to show us a picture of these predictions so that we know now. And I said, watch these topics. This is the most important thing. We There'll be stuff happening in energy and disease and China. Also, uh, my shoes will not fit no. right. Because when we start to see these things go awry... This is the end times. These will these will agree the ends of the times of the time. We're in trouble. Yes, so get in the bunker and shut the door behind you. Start eating your beans and farting up a storm because you're going to need the energy. And when I left here five months ago, there really wasn't any check mark on that board. And I posted it last night. And if you look at the, the, the white X's, those are check marks on it's happening now. Oh, you mean, uh, so you came into the studio and you wrote some stuff that was going on right now and you put little boxes next to them and then you checked them all off and then we're supposed to believe that list was that existed there and then you went, oh my God, what are the odds? Instead of you just... Look, I, had, I guessed all the lottery numbers. You can look because the lottery happened last night and look, I put a check. There they are and I... Checked them off like, oh, I predicted them. When when was that written? Weeks ago. Did you post a picture of it weeks ago? No, I, I was doing a thing. I was too busy being full of shit. I came in this morning and I looked at, I boiled all of those things down to four things. and we, Because the other eight were like iffy and bullshit anyways. We talked about them before. Mm -hmm. And I said, this is how we get to... Uh, the Armageddon end of America the end of America this is two years ago by the way these are the things that you're going to need to watch for okay watch for this for the end of America let's see and they've already happened so they all happened two years the ago the first one was polarization and civil unrest yes that would that would be necessary but we've had polarization and civil unrest at many times in our history we had a civil war uh, if you'll remember the civil rights era, whew, that was pretty rough as well, um, but uh, managed to squeak on through. It's interesting. It would have to, obviously, where would it have to be on the needle, just in general? These are just chapters. Okay. Critical stage, 1930s, European levels, left, right, Nazi, Antifa, communist, Islamist riots in the streets. Yeah, and oh my God, oh my God, two years ago to this very day, when this video was made, it all happened, and America ended. Uh, well, not all of America, just Portland. Rip Portland. Hashtag Rip Portland. <laughs> the kidney. Hmm. Huh. Huh. And I, and and as sure as fuck, America's just gone. All right. Yeah. Fortunately, we've seen none of that. None of that. Yeah. <laughs> So, so that <laughs> this is the dude you want sitting in the studio. It's kind of, he's like, you can tell he's like Glenn Beck's anchor when Glenn's afraid that he's going to go f too far down cuckoo road. Uh, Pat's there to drag him back to sanity town. That's box. Would wow. you check box number one? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. If this goes on for another two years and keeps going and, uh, and, uh, you know, triples, Box number two, economic destabilization, critical stage. <laughs> now we're fine. I would not check that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bank and central bank failures, stock market plunge, which has gone the other way, price collapse, which is coming. Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, remember price collapse, guys? Remember when the price, remember the, remember when the prices of everything collapsed? Remember that? I love I love two-year-old fucking predictions. This is sweet. Um, but I would check most of that, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I, I mean, it's done. We don't even have an economy now. Oh, um, now, there is that one thing that I saw on Axios that m I don't, t today, that might, 
I don't know, it might complicate your theory in this a little bit. Um, as far as economic collapse goes, I, I'm going to, um, the, this, this is obviously a problem when you're talking about collapse. Now it could be, <laughs> it could be that America, um, is just, uh, doing a little bit of retail therapy to stave off what they know is inevitable and it's on its way. Doom, diddy, doom, doom. But, not, it's, this, if you look at, this from 2019, this is, I'm just saying, that's the last year of the, of the Trump administration, just saying. And there's this rumpity bump, right here's the beginning of uh, Biden. Here's 2021, look at this. Look at, look at America's consumption spending. Here's, uh, guess when Biden gets inaugurated? Guess. Guess where that is. Wank. As soon as that January 6th shit was over, America, America was like, let's get back at it. You could literally patch this fucking hole straight through there. There you go. It's a little, yeah, it's a, it's a straight trajectory. Absolutely. Some ruffles. As it goes up and then it dunks back down and it's going back up again. But it's definitely smoothed this out over time. Here's a hint why inflation remains stubbornly high in January. American spending accelerated after a few months of trending down. Driving the news, personal consumption expenditure data on Friday shows that even after adjusting for inflation, spending rose 1.1% in January from the month before. Fucking Americans. Why can't you assholes get broke and stay that way? Oh, yeah. Economic destabilization is Certainly at least we've been destabilized. Right. No yeah, I mean, it's a constant. At a certain point, though, if if, if we've been destabilized, you know, then it, aren't we always unstable? Therefore, instability is the new stability. I'll let you think on that for a half an hour. You know what I mean? Because at one point, if everybody's crazy, maybe the sane person is the problem. All right. No about doubt about it. it. It's just been pretty. None. It's been propped up, but obviously right. the stabilization is not something that anyone would argue over. Right. Okay. So uh, we're half. Yeah. Nobody would argue that. No, no. Stabilization. Obviously we're cadavering. End of story. I mean, America's done. Right. Okay. Two years ago, but whatever. Way mm -hmm. through the four things. Uh, tech disruption. <laughs> tech disruption. Ah. Oh. Critical stage jobs being displaced because of technology uh-oh chat gpt he wasn't even thinking about this we're all getting our we're gonna lose our jobs because starbucks is becoming a vending machine with a drive-through jobs finance communication and privacy well in his defense Parler was hacked and 70 terabytes of, of right-wingers data was dumped onto the internet because they were only using the, uh, the demo version of their security software. But in general... So what, uh, I mean, did, look at this into the James Altucher thing that we, yeah. we talked about earlier today where, you know, th these companies are going to use COVID as this opportunity, you know, they, to it, cut all these Not in a, in a nefarious way, but like they naturally had to send people home and then they all kind of realized, eh, we don't need it. Well, yeah, I just have them stay home. I mean, the, you know, the mm -hmm. internet's working fine. We're doing these meetings. I haven't been in maybe every once in a while, but that's about it. So uh, his big concern and his proof that uh, the, the, the financial system in America is destabilizing is because commercial real estate might not recover. What happens to the commercial real estate market? Oh my God, did I, what did I say? What did I, like, is that that easy? Is that, like, it's, it might, this is fucking, it's almost like he said this two years ago. All right. Market when that. I did not watch this at the time, by the way. I don't have this memorized, or do I? The kidney. Quit it. Happens. What happens to privacy? Just be. Yeah. Yeah. I was, you know what? I had my penis out in the lobby a couple of minutes ago, and I was, it occurred to me. <laughs> Because of COVID, yeah. Look at how we're being contact tracked. tracing all of that, all kind of, of stuff. that stuff. Communicate, yeah, yeah. And nobody, everybody's tra uh, tracked nowadays. Ever since COVID, I mean, it, 
I, I don't know about you, but everywhere I go, fucking vaccine passport. I got to show them. I've got to scan green everywhere. I go. Oh, no, that's China. And that's not happening. Vacation, um, the election. You couldn't have maybe lit the fucking blackboard. You didn't. That didn't occur to you. You didn't put put maybe a maybe put a little soft lamp on that didn't no mm -mm. in your multi-million dollar studio it's not like i for example wouldn't with my little podunk setup couldn't figure out that you might not be able to read that on camera that all is mm -hmm. that's all coming to play oh my god the fourth one is new world order <laughs> hey so that's tech disruption would you check that box oh oh yeah i totally tech disruption where they uh, which means what again Oh, yeah, I would. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, boss. Absolutely. Whatever you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're asking me, the guy in the second mic, or me, uh, the guy in the third mic that works for you and has to make you look like you know what the fuck you're talking about, even when you're jibber-jabbering relentlessly about topics you know fuck all about? Number four. Probably won't check this box, though. Trust implosion. <laughs> Tr Trust implosion. Oh, yes. Well, uh, I have to say that happened with me and Glenn Beck I, uh, from the jump a long time ago. Critical stage. Trust lost with government, media, tech, finance, justice, uh, corporations, and EDU. <laughs> Ta-da! You didn't even include, like, institutions like the police. Right. Right. Which, right. you know, half the country now no right. longer thinks should even be... Right. ...exist. I would... And that would be you guys who want to get rid of the FBI, I suppose? Absolutely check all four of those boxes. All four of those. Well, of course you would, Pat. You're a sycophant and a lunatic. Those boxes. Were there. The only thing that is left. And by the way, the last one is New World Order. Is when all four. Well, I said a year ago or a year and a half ago. When all four uh -huh. of those boxes are checked, then you're ready for the New World Order. What the fuck have we been waiting for then? Son of a bitch. You. I don't. The New World Order is late? The f this was two fucking years ago. We cl Somebody get the New World Order on the phone. I Son of a bitch. Wait, one second. By the way, these guys have not particularly aged well. Hold on. I gotta... Damn it. Let's get it out there. Well, I've got a special phone where I can... <clears throat> uh -uh, excuse me. All right, one second. Hold on. One second. If you, uh, hold on one second. Um, hello. Hello. Uh, uh, Illuminati headquarters. Yeah, just... Um, motherfucker, they've automated everything. Why are they asking me for the last four digits of my social... They don't fucking know? Okay. Hal Sparks. New World Order. Date of execute. Date of execute. Shit, it sent me back to the first menu. God damn it. I'll just push operate. Hi, who is this? Carol? Hey, Carol. Um, yeah, it's Hal. Um, I was just wondering. I. Oh, uh, no, no, no. It, yeah, it's good to see you too. And your potato salad is fucking magic. I would just like to say that. Everybody thought so at the last. Uh, yeah. Yeah, at the last gathering. It was great, whatever. And to do it out in the open like that, I thought it was hilarious. Everybody thought we were just a little church group. Um, anyways, I just wanted to uh, ask you. I'm watching... Oh, yeah, you know what I'm watching. Sorry. Yeah, the Glenn Beck clip. The old one. Yeah, two years ago. Right. Were you just thinking the same thing? I know. I was like, right. They checked all four and still know there's a pause on it. Waiting for funding. Huh. Oh, because, right, right, because we use, yeah, we use the currency of the galactic lizard people, right, and they, it's an issue with the exchange rate. I get it. Okay, well, that makes sense. I'll tell everybody. Yeah, thank you. And yeah, Glenn will be, um, well, you know what, don't, can you, can you, I mean, I know I'm not supposed to do this, and I, no, I promise I'm not on the air, um, but can you, can you guys just send one of those pulses to his implant that makes him have another brilliant idea. 
Yeah, one of the yeah, yeah, one of the really funny ones. Cool. Okay. Anyways, you too. Absolutely. I gotta ask: Is it cumin in that paprika? That makes sense. It makes all the difference in potato salad. You're absolutely right. Okay. Anyways, have a great yeah, have a great uh, thirty-seven day week. And uh, sneak snort bot. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Adrenochrome Day. Okay. Bye. Um, so I, you know, obviously it's very complicated, um, but the, the New York, in a nutshell, the New World Order is running late. I just got the name wrong. It's called the Great Reset. Oh, I see. That was, uh, that was from the other clip of him saying the New World Order is the Great Reset. That's when he decided on the name of his book or he took it from. But it's very low, which means they could change it at any time. They could say, you know what, new new information now. I would like to say for the record that uh, it's good to it, it's nice to know that since COVID, uh, Stu and Glenn have have not missed a single dessert. I mean, if you're coming near the end of the world, I say fuck it, throw caution to the wind. So why not? New information, and even more significant than the significant information that had us go from no confidence to low confidence. Right. Okay. It's like I mm. I know why I'm overweight. Right. Yeah. And Do you though? Do you though? The reason I'm overweight is because I eat too much crap too often. Correct. I have. Yes. And it's Glenn's fault. high confidence. In <laughs> right. That. Is it possible I have a glandular issue? <laughs> Me? I <laughs> guess it's possible. It is. Right. It could be. Very, very, very low unlike. possibility. Yeah, very un it could also be that uh, your glandular issue is caused by the crap you eat. I know. Unlikely. Complicated thought. But yeah. I am highly confident right. that it's the amount of Taco Bell drive through stops right. that I make in a given <laughs> week right. that makes. Notice he didn't bring up Sonic because they don't want to lose their uh, their discount at the drive. It's me overweight. But if a doctor came to you and said, you've got a glandular issue, I might say, well, I need to look at the evidence of that. Right. I'm, I'm interested Thank in this. Thank God Taco it's Bell can survive. <laughs> okay. So now why would this come out? Now, I'm not saying that this is it, but I'm not not saying Wait, how it much? Either. Oh, fuck off. This is uh, again. This is what bo this checks the final box. Either I want every ago. statement you make mm -hmm. on this program now to be followed by a level of confidence. Okay, <laughs> okay. My level of confidence <laughs> on this one is almost biblical. Okay, okay. <laughs> Maybe literally. So it's all based on faith and not knowledge. See what I did there? Ha! Thank you very much. Um, I like to think things through biblical yeah i mean i take <laughs> i take the scriptures yeah and then i come down a little bit right and that's where i'm at okay, okay. Got so it. low confidence low confidence so uh there's a couple of things in the news you know uh completely unrelated oh i see so this is where he takes other things ties them to it and says this is my justification for because there was an the turkish earthquake or some shit china the earth the earthquake in turkey it, obviously, it's nothing Turkish about the earthquake. Is cozying up to Russia, and uh, they've offered a peace deal. And they're also talking about sending drones and uh, and also ammunition to Russia. I learned that over the weekend. Oh. Did you? Where'd you learn that? You learned that from Anthony Blinken. Anthony Blinken. You learned that from the U.S. State Department, who had a suspicion that they were going to do it, which China denied. And uh, and Biden followed up by going, I think the chances of it are very low at this point, even if they were thinking about it temporarily and them not doing it. Oh, and did you see the fighter jet that was over the South China Sea that was shadowing our I mean, like 20 feet away from ours becoming very aggressive, not really done before. Yeah. That's because our fighter jet was in an area it hadn't been before. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Boy. Boy, I, it's a good thing that we're not mad at them for other things. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Sure. No. Sure, we're upset at them about that. But they have proven to be good, strong allies of ours and good, helpful friends. And, of course, didn't have anything to do with the pandemic that killed millions of... Oh, wait a minute. I've just gotten some... Hang on. 
new significant information. Holy cow. With this new significant information, I can no longer say they've been good allies of ours. They may be an enemy of not. Gee, uh, so we're supposed. I'm I genuinely am confused by this because um, he's believed this, and Trump has said he's believed this, except when he hasn't. Um, since Trump left office, anyways. Um, and adults going all right before we specifically pick a fight with a group of people, we should probably know if they did what we think they did. Not just us, but the whole world. Because they leaked, accidentally, we think, but we could get another sp very specific. All right, so this is, uh, the U.S. is engaged in anti-China propaganda because they need to create a COVID false flag uh, to give them a, uh, the ability to attack China over Taiwan to as as the predicate for a war. Which, by the way, Glenn and everybody on his side actually thinks already happened and therefore wouldn't be a false flag. It would be an iteration of what they actually believe. And so it's, it would be the first false flag that's based on hiding the truth and then revealing it telling people we were actually attacked like if like if somebody if if the US government had responded by to 911 by putting up two giant faux world trade centers and hiding the fact that they had been attacked um until we decided we want to uh, we wanted to attack al qaeda and then we would take down the screens and go oh it, it, they were uh, they were knocked down years ago a couple of years in 1992 or, or sorry 2002 we're going to Obviously, look what they did. We didn't know. So now we can bomb them. Yeah, I know. It's stupid. And very, very important update at any minute. <sighs> they may have had a lab leak that caused millions of people to die. So they're not very good. They're not good people. <laughs> Which, again kind of confusing in the context of the idea that the president is beholden to them in any way. And we had to be dragged to that conclusion. Boy, we didn't want to say that about the Jap the Chinese because we <laughs> Freudian we like the Chinese and they're so good. And gosh darn it, we didn't want to have to come to that conclusion. <sighs> and now we're dealing with the airplane. I don't know if we can trust them. We they might become an enemy of ours. Well, really, the enemy of mankind, because have you heard about the lab leak? Completely unrelated. And all right, look, first of all, never mind the fact that this is a fucking child. <laughs> like, look at the look at the level of of logic and mixed with paranoia, mixed with, I, I guess, an attempted humor and generalized gibberish that is going on in this small uh, pseudo play that he's doing for his listeners over the air that at some point is has to come around to the idea, I suppose, logically, if we're following as best we can, that Glenn Beck is slowly but surely coming around to the realization that the idea that Biden is beholden to China is bullshit and that there might be a greater strategy here. And he's finding himself on the side of defending not only China, but Trump's relationship with China. Complete. I, it's a, just a giant coincidence that after three years within the two week period where China is giving us trouble, what do you do? In the two weeks, motherfucker, where were you when Nancy Pelosi went to Taiwan? What about the the beginning of the AUKUS agreements where they they, they were uh, doing Operation Fish Kill, as the guys on China Show likes to call it? All of a sudden, we come to the conclusion. Why is this all of the sudden? It's been fucking two years of this shit. That they may have leaked the coronavirus.
And by the way, we being the Department of Energy with low confidence. Fuck, this is tiresome. COVID could have come from them. And by the way, we have no confidence that America was involved in that whatsoever. In fact, involved in what? All of the releases that we've released this weekend. Don't mention Anthony Fauci. Don't don't mention the labs here in America. The Bat Lady. What Bat Lady? We're not talking Batman, Robin, or the Bat Girl. What are you talking about, Bat Lady? We have nothing to do with that. It's by the way, the Bat Lady he's talking about is a female scientist in uh, at the Wuhan lab in China. China. I see. <laughs> Look at him. Look how smug he is. Right, how do you leak a hoax? It's always an issue. Um, so not only did this motherfucker manage to wrap this entire conversation up in um, ultimately the U.S. government has decided that China did this, but, but according to, insofar as we can tell, because it's a lot of gibberish and it's a lot of double talk and he doesn't know, I, I lost me several times. But it seems like Glenn Beck is arguing that the U.S. government planted the virus via Anthony Fauci and the bat lady, the woman who studied corona, like uh, COVID uh, coronaviruses specifically in bats, where a lot of them originated in, in China. That took, this took place during the Trump administration. Uh, by the way, the president who refunded and allowed gain of function research to to commence again after Obama had shut it down at the Wuhan lab that during the Trump administration the US government planted or participated in the release or the construction of covid and let it out while Trump was president Yes, and, and by the way, largely because, yes, Trump had also gotten rid of the, the team, um, the, uh, the pandemic uh, response team. I, I got to say, like, fucking, this is, it's a mess. This whole conversation, I don't even know which side of it ethically he even wants to be true. Now, yeah, he doesn't even know what he just said. I just might be a little cynical. Yeah, people might say, Glenn, what, you have no faith? You have no trust? I mean, in the full faith and credit of the United States of America? No, mm -mm, I don't have any. Mm -mm. Yeah, you do. That's a lie. Yes, you do. You have... This motherfucker flies in an airplane over U.S. airspace uh, and in other parts of the world in a system guided by the FAA, a, a, a bureaucratic organization that does not change its its uh, leadership every time a new president comes in. It's a constant. It's part of the deep state. The FAA would be part of the deep state th that he relies on. He also, um, when he's driving on the highway system um, throughout any state that he might be in, um, he he doesn't think that. He didn't think for a second that the road ends over the next horizon, over the next hill. That if he comes to a hill, it's just going to crevice off and the road's just broken and he has to constantly live in fear. He constantly trusts the government. He's on fucking autopilot. This motherfucker, and Stu just said this, the two of them eat at Taco Bell all the fucking time. They eat Sonic all the fucking time. And without the regulations put forward by the U.S. government, they would be eating salmonella fucking tacos twice a week they'd be dead by now they're only a, a, able to be unhealthy because of their own choices because the federal government spends an inordinate amount of taxpayer dollars and time and energy and scientific study making impalatable food safe to consume yeah the U.S. government, because the American consumer wants it, spends a shit ton of your money, whether you eat that way or not, making sure that fast food won't kill you quickly.
that at least if at some point you choose to wean yourself off of fucking garbage, you have the time and the ability to do so. It's just the same thing that brought you lower tar cigarettes. Look, these motherfuckers aren't going to quit, but if we can get most of the tar out of these fucking things, we can at least extend the off-ramp. The number of exits on Death Highway that they pass before it's your ass. All of these assholes trust the government nonstop. I fucking hate this garbage. Nope, nope. Not since they banned everyone from saying this. They didn't ban everyone from saying this. With all the evidence that we produced, oh, I don't know, two years ago. You mean none? Not with all of the questioning. Not with... No, nobody got banned for questioning. Another lie. With, not with everybody being run out into the streets. Burn them. They're a witch for even suggesting, even saying Wuhan. Yeah, that didn't, that didn't happen either. I, I saw multiple conversations where people said Wuhan, even suggesting the lab leak theory uh, might be a possibility. None of them got uh, even pilloried. <sighs> Don't call this the Chinese virus. How dare you? Well, because Chinese is an ethnicity as well as a nationality. And therein lies the rub. See, Americans, we're in a special position because America doesn't show up on anybody's 23 and Me yet. It might centuries from now because you can use it as a pivot point for where people came from as far as haptic, uh, haplo groups or whatever. Come through, I almost said haptic, which is a suit you need to have for VR to be really, really delicious. Um, but insofar as uh, ethnically concentrated or uh, ethno, like um, um, ethnically uniform countries, it's hard to say in China because there's a lot of different tribes, but the Han Chinese being the, normal, uh, the, the enormous part of the population now, and not an accident, um, that it's Chinese in terms of a governmental system, but not Chinese in terms of an ethnic system where American people of who are ethnically Chinese, who are 100% Americans, have no fucking responsibility for any of this shit. That's why. And it's because the Chinese government, the CCP, uses that fact, uses that, that bifurcated meaning of Chinese to say that anyone who attacks what they're doing, what the CCP was doing in hiding the origins of COVID and, and, and letting their own doctor die, um, who, you know, telling him to shut up about it when it first broke. That if you criticize those things, you're criticizing Chinese people. And the reason they have some ammo in that conversation where they're allowed, you know, you can't argue that Chinese and Asian Americans who, because again, people not making the distinction, have, have blamed them for the disease or continue to do so. The reason the Chinese have, like, they can use that as a wedge is because it is made true by fuckers like this. Ooh. No, I'm um I'm just a little skeptical. No, you're not. You're a professional cynic. But you're also a fraud. A liar. A fraud. A fire. A fire. A fraud. Of the press. Who's not banning? The Department of Energy. Yeah, that's because the Department of Energy did not announce this. A member of Congress, most likely a Republican, took something that was a low confidence part of a classified briefing from the Department of Energy that where they presented some information that they had that they believed was strong, but the sourcing of it was questionable, so much so that the, the intelligence community said it doesn't line up with the information that they're having, so it won't change their position on any of us. They didn't announce this, and this is part of the, this is the baseline lie of this whole thing. And, and Junior did the same shit. Nobody announced this. This is from a news report that somebody read a classified briefing. This was an eyes-only classified briefing that they gave, a, a classified document. It was never meant to be an announcement. And so the idea that the announcement is meant to be manipulative, you have to go to, well, then who released this classified document or talked about it 
secretly. And at this point, we know it was a Republican House member. We just don't know which one. So if anybody has an agenda, the theory would be it would be that Republican member of the House. So why would they do it all of a sudden? Probably because they have low confidence. Even though we had all the documents and had high confidence, and anybody who would look at the documents would go, that's pretty, I can understand. But What documents would those be? I think you should have higher than high confidence. And by the way, I honestly don't know what he means by uh, documents. Is he talking about emails that were allegedly between Fauci and Dazek and that crowd? Is he talking about documents that he's somehow seen from Wuhan? Is he saying specifically that because they were doing gain of function there, that that automatically that means this version of COVID that broke loose is part of that work? No, no. No, he's not. Because he can't. We were enemies of the state. No, you weren't. Or you're still alive. You're still chubby. You still haven't missed a dessert in the history of this fucking show. But now, Biden administration has been given some new information. China might be an enemy of ours. I'm just saying. And I'd hate to unleash, I'd hate to have to unleash an economic barrier against China. That'd be bad for us, but it'd be the right thing to do. Be bad for us, bad for them, but it'd be the right thing to do. I don't know. Do you understand what his complaint is here? Because I think he's for this, but he's worried that because Biden is doing it, he will lose a talking point. Gosh, if we could just find our way to not doing that, I wonder what China could do. What? Hey, by the way, did you notice we're really upset about all the arms and stuff that they're talking about sending to Russia? Hey, I wonder if we could drop our investigation if they would drop their support, you know, with ammunition and stuff. Oh, I see. So this this is the theory. This is what it all comes to is that the the Biden administration is threatening to release more information he has no idea exists but assumes does, but he's already read it, but you know, the Department of Energy. The Department of Energy will drop its investigation, which by the way it already completed. Um if China doesn't give arms to Russia. Why would we need that? Aren't uh, the economic sanctions? Biden has already said that if China gives arms to Russia, the same economic sanctions that would be put on any country that traded arms with Russia go into effect. Period. End of story. He's already said it. The fuck does this have to do with anything? It's, not, it's an unnecessary. What are they worried about? They're already denying that it came from there anyways. What do you think they're going to do? Not co cooperate more? Cooperate less than none? Good Lord, this is stupid. Maybe we could both back away and go, I see nothing. Uh, it's adorable. Um, so this dickhead thinks he's discovered... Uh, a, a, I guess, a conspiracy to end a Mexican standoff over, I guess, while the U.S., okay, so Mexican standoff, both, China, we both have guns, and China's going to hand one of its guns to Russia, is the theory, and the other gun is n not being honest about the origin of COVID. That's the other gun. And the U.S. has two guns, one economic and one militaristic. The, one, the militaristic one is in its left hand because it never expects to use it. But the, but the economic sanctions, only this one will get used, and it only gets used if, if they give their gun to Russia in this Mexican standoff. So if, Russia, if China says we're giving weapons or they try to give weapons, we find out, uh, then we hit them with sanctions. Meanwhile, this one's still loaded and pointing at them. But the idea is that China is giving one of their guns away and laying the other one on the table. And America is the weakling 
because we're just going to decide to walk away. I don't even know. I'm trying to build an analogy that makes any fucking sense on this gibberish. It's just stupid. No, that's too cynical. It's not cynical. It's dumb. For fuck's sake. Like, we, it's a hard, it's difficult. It's challenging, even, to Im imagine a dumber take on this than, than Glenn Beck's. I swear to God. Is, is there anywhere in chat room, can, did any of you, I am stunned. I, you know, this is Bongino level stupid.